Let's talk about releases for a minute. Brass players often talk about attacks, how we start the note, but how we end each note is important as well. As an exercise, I like to ask people to play a half note, starting with a slight accent, perhaps mezzo forte, decrescendo or diminuendo down to nothing by the end of it. That is really how we should shape our notes in slow motion. Now when I speed that action up, I produced each of those in the same way. I did not stop the note at a specific time, I just tapered it off to nothing but slower or faster, uh, depending on how long I wanted the note to sound. If instead I did that by stopping the notes with my tongue, as some players do, that sequence would sound something like this. Not quite as attractive a sound. Occasionally that's what we want to do, to have a very abrupt almost rude kind of finish to the note. Sometimes that fits the music. When you're playing a string of, say, 16th notes and the tongue has to move more quickly, it's really critical to do the notes that way. My tongue there simply started each note. I didn't worry about the end of each note because starting the next note effectively finished the note before it. If I really consciously tried to stop each note, that's a whole lot of work, and it interrupts the airstream pretty badly. Doesn't sound very good, I don't think. Again, maybe you'd want it sometimes for effect, but most times that's not the sound you want. There are many real-world examples of the kind of tonguing I'm talking about. Often the transcriptions of old overtures, um, classical music transcribed for band, will have running lines in the euphonium parts that were originally part of the cello part. If they aren't slurred, then the cello was probably alternating bowing back and forth to create a more separated effect. But uh, they weren't trying to create this effect. They were trying to create probably something like this. So there's something for you to think about today. Um, pay attention to your releases. If your tongue seems to have to work awfully hard as you're playing repeated notes or a fast sequence of fast eighths or sixteenth notes, especially look at what you're doing or try to feel what you're doing. If you're trying to stop each note, that's going to create a lot of extra work for you. It may not sound very good, but it'll also slow you down quite a lot because you're doing two actions for every note rather than one action, that is starting the note rather than stopping and starting the note each time. So play around with that if you haven't already learned this and see if it helps you uh, tongue a little faster and with a little more grace to the sound. Thanks.